Oh, it's not that easy. You may have learned this. If somehow you clicked on this video, you're probably trying to buy a house in Montclair, or maybe you're trying to sell your house or buy another one there, but it's not that easy. Montclair, New Jersey is an extremely hot market. Over the past two years, we've seen homes, this is not an exaggeration, sell for $200,000, $300,000 over asking price. There's a few different reasons for this, but I wanted to make a quick video to just explain to you how to buy a house in Montclair, New Jersey. You can still do it, but there's a few things that you need to do to make sure that you're setting yourself up to actually do it. One, you have to understand the market and understanding the market is honestly extremely difficult. Here's why. Montclair, New Jersey is so hard to understand because stuff sells so far over asking price. It doesn't mean that all of those buyers are crazy. It means that a lot of those houses are underpriced drastically, most likely on purpose. There are listing agents who list homes well below what they know it's going to sell for. So they can do that kind of eBay mentality and then say, hey, I sold the house for 350,000 over value. I mean, it works. The sellers aren't complaining, so you can't really blame them, but it's very, very hard for a new buyer to go into that market saying like, well, my top is 800,000. That's the most I wanna spend. If that's what you wanna spend in Montclair, you cannot look at the houses that list at 799. You need to look at houses that are starting listing at 650 to 699. Uh, that's where I would start looking. Maybe you could go up as high as 749 if it gets a little cooler, but I'm telling you, this is how it works. And hopefully this will help you navigate your search better. If you have 800,000 to spend, you wanna set your slidable scale starting at 650,000 for listings because there's a high chance that those homes are gonna sell up into the sevens and even at 749, that could sell for more. Again, this is all dependent on the quality of the house, quality of the listing and how accurate the pricing is. But these are generalities that will help you. If you come into a market like Montclair uh, and you're looking at 799 and you have 800 to spend, you're not getting that house. 90, I'd say 96% of homes in the last six months in Montclair sold for over asking price. So that means even the ones that aren't priced extremely low, still selling over asking price because the demand is so high. So supply and demand dictates that you're going to pay. Again, the last I looked, it was 118% list to sales price ratio for all of 2021. 118%. That means if you're just doing a calculation, the average is paying 18% over the list price. But again, I'm telling you, there's homes that sold for 200,000 over asking price. So there are some that sold below. Those are usually gonna have to need a little bit more work or they mismanage the price. But this is that's one very important thing to know about the Montclair market. It's why you have to study it. So number two is you need to be on daily updates if you really wanna buy. The reason why is you wanna see the first day that the house comes out so you can set a showing right away. So you're not waiting. The biggest mistake that people make is <clears throat> they don't look for one week. And then on Sunday, before they're not going to open houses, they're like, hey, well, let's see what's available. And you look at all the cool stuff that is up. That, those are already ready for offers. Or if you look on Monday or Tuesday at the stuff from last week, they're already getting 10 offers. So you have to be proactive and see stuff on the first day have your agent set the showing. Obviously, we can do that uh, for you. I haven't even introduced myself because I do it so often. My name is Jonathan Green. I run a big team called Streamline Properties on Market. We're brokered by eXp Realty. I actually lived in Montclair, New Jersey and was a homeowner there for six years. I've recently, <coughs> excuse me, flipped another house there. I did really well on my house in Upper Montclair. You will do well on your future purchase as well. Even if you overpay right now, generally, you're likely to probably still appraise and you will eventually uh, catch up to your value. And if you appraise, you've already achieved your value. So it's good and things are appraising very high. Uh, but the reason why you need the daily updates is because you have to get those showing set. You know, you can't really take a weekend off and then just slide in on Monday. Though they're already had 60, 70, 80, 100 showings. Um, 
this is just the truth. I mean, maybe not everyone's going to tell you it's not easy, but I'm telling you it's also not impossible. If you're motivated and educated and you have an agent who understands the market, which all of my agents do as well as me, because I'm training them on all the hot markets, you have to understand how to navigate it. You have to know the other agents. You have to know the process and you have to get ready for multiple offers. So those are two really important points. And that of course means that as I've said in other videos, I'll actually link to it up top about pre-approvals. You need to have your pre-approval in place or your proof of funds because there's not really any delays. If you see a house on a Sunday and you wanna make an offer and the deadline's Monday by noon, you're not getting a pre-approval done by that time because they're not working over the weekend, at least uh, on Sunday at 12. So you need to be ready to go. So these are the things you need to do. Make sure you understand the market, get daily updates, have your pre-approval in place. And also number four, understand the neighborhood different, differentiation because of where you wanna be. Like you can have a same home on the south side and the north side. South side, you're gonna be a little bit further from the train, probably gonna be a little bit more quiet in some areas, but the price differential is gonna be, there's a little bit, but not much. And you have to know what you want to be close to. Are you trying to be close to transportation? There's at least five train stops in Montclair that go into New York City. Uh, Bay Street is the, the hub for the weekends. Um, so you really want to know, do you need to commute? You can usually, uh, all of them are, are walkable from uh, most of the homes in Montclair. Uh, and you have to understand, do you want to be in Upper Montclair? Do you want to be in downtown? Uh, do you need to be close to the high school? All of these things play out. Study the map. Know your market understand that some homes are priced low on purpose and understand that if you have X to spend, you need to start looking at homes on Zillow or wherever you look at homes. You can look at streamlined dot properties. We have all of them, but you wanna look at X minus 100,000. That's where you need to start because that's really the scale that you're gonna be in. You can't look at 799 if you're gonna spend 800 in Montclair. I hope this was helpful. As always, you can always get in touch with us again at the website streamlined with a D.properties. You can find us with our reviews for plenty of Montclair sales on Zillow. Uh, you just look me up, Jonathan Green, and my team will come up, streamline properties on market. We're happy to help, but these are some tips to figure out how to do it the right way in a very hot market. Montclair, New Jersey. Have a great day.